I'm Ben. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Keeper. And today I am going to show y'all how we use Retool to measure our usage at Keeper. So this tool that I will show you all today uh, started out as really just a tool to track usage, understand how people are using our product, but it has since grown to be a core part of how we manage customer success at Keeper, how we prioritize our efforts to drive expansion uh, revenue in our product and also uh, mitigate churn. First, a little bit about us. It's relevant to how we built the tool. So we're Keeper. We make software to help bookkeepers do their work. So if you're familiar with venture scale firms like Pilot or Bench, we write the same kind of software that they write internally, but instead of using that to do bookkeeping, we sell that software to the other 1.5 million bookkeeping firms across the US. One important point about our business is we are a per client model. So you pay per client that you have active in Keeper. So that means we have a really expansion driven sales motion. We might have a customer come to us who has hundred clients and they may start testing it out with 10 clients. And so getting them to go from 10 clients to hundred is an important point of how we do customer success. So I want to talk about our goals with this dashboard. As I mentioned, it started with just usage to so hire people using the product. But as uh, we grew and added more customers, it became the data-driven way that we manage our customer success, particularly on two axes, expansion and churn. So how can we drive more revenue from customers who we know are using the product, but have not yet rolled it out across their entire practice? And how can we understand who's at risk of churning and, and go and, and actively mitigate that as well? So... <laughs> Before we launched this dashboard with Retool, this is kind of what things looked like. So we would try and understand how people were using our product by watching session replays. We use a tool called Cohere for all of our onboardings. And then also they have session replay. It's a great tool. It's a good complement to Retool, but we would watch these session replays. And this was just like super unscalable. It worked for the first five or 10 customers, but beyond that, it's like not a great solution. Uh, and so then we would also do things like query straight from the database and dump those into Excel and build custom like reports and pivot tables and graphs and things uh, in there. Also not very scalable. Now with Retool, we have one central dashboard to understand how our customers are using our product that is linked into to all of our sources of information about that customer. So now I'll go ahead and dive into a demo and show you all what that, okay. So this is our product uh, analytics dashboard. We call it uh, Pulse Check. And so up here at the, at the top, we have some practice level uh, usage data so we can understand things about how uh, different uh, pieces of our product are used so Keeper is a complex tool with workflow management, tools for uh, correcting data in QuickBooks, tools for delivering management reports. And so we try and aggregate those different buckets of usage into different metrics that we track here at Keeper. So I won't go through all of those in depth, but this is the sort of aggregated across the portfolio, across every customer that we have in Keeper, how they're using Keeper. And then as we come down here, we can see a couple of uh, really important top level metrics that we care about. So because we are a per client billing model, new client ads is really important to us. We can track how many new customers are getting added on into the system at any point in time. And uh, if this were production data, then uh, what we're aiming for here is, is up and to the right. Also changes by report. So one big piece of Keeper is we allow you to correct transactions in QuickBooks directly from Keeper. And we have a bunch of different reports that we have to help you surface potential coding errors surface anything that you might want to correct. And so this changes by report pie chart will just show us where our customers are making those corrections. Again, this is at the entire portfolio level, but we do have the same level of analytics down at the customer level as well. And so what this helps us see is like, which reports are people finding the most valuable? Uh, and so for example, 40% of, of changes uh, here as well are coming from the inconsistency report, uh, which is a tool to catch and correct coding errors before our customers deliver their financials to their clients. This is a good indicator that this report is great, it could also be an indicator that uh, these reports are not as good. Uh, so that's something that we definitely want to drill down on as we uh, continue to double click into deeper levels of, of analysis. And then below that, we have our practice tracker. Uh, so this pulls primarily data from our Postgres database, but it also pulls data from our CRM. And the way that we built our CRM was in Notion because it's just very much dynamic and flexible. And as our business matured, Notion kind of just grew up with our sales motion. So Notion is where we keep customer data for better or for worse, but Retool made that not as big of a pain point as it might otherwise have been. So we can super easily just get Notion data and put it in here and merge it with our Postgres data. And then that allows us to track uh, what we call our expansion gap uh, or our activation gap. And so that's like, so if we have this practice right here and we see they have uh, two active Stripe clients, so they're paying us uh, for two clients, but they have 20 total clients uh, that they told us about on their intro call. This lets us know we have 18 total clients that we can expand into if we can get them activated. Uh, and so we'll track that. And that's one of the core metrics that our customer success team looks at to understand how to prioritize which accounts to work on. And then of course, if you drill down on this here as well, you can also see all of the associated, all of the associated client IDs here as well. Um, and anything that might be relevant. So we don't have a ton of 
uh, sandbox usage data on these, but uh, this will show you like the different types of activity that those practices are taking, not just at the practice level, but disaggregated down into the client level as well. So yeah, so that's pretty much our uh, our pulse check tool. And I'll come back here and talk about what this has allowed us to do. For starters, this is like how we understand our customers. There's literally no way we could do anything close to what we're doing here without uh, a tool like Retool. Um, and I can't even think of another way we would have built this. And the best part about it is that it required zero developer bandwidth to build. So I'm non-technical, I have a background writing a lot of SQL, um, but that was all I needed. Like I didn't need anything else to, uh, to learn how to set up uh, anything to, to build the entire dashboard. And so that was super, super high leverage. We didn't have to take developer bandwidth away from shipping new features. We could just, uh, I could just build this thing myself. Then the second piece of this is what do we want to do next? Uh, so as I mentioned, this is kind of our core source of repository for all customer information. And so after this, we want to start bringing in some more information. Uh, so we use intercom for customer support. That's not yet tied in here, uh, but they have an open API. And so we feel very confident that it'll be really easy to slot in uh, and improve our usage quantification. Uh, and then also we want to be able to drill down to deeper levels of analysis beyond just the practice and the client, but also into things like user level uh, metrics tracking. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got.